Hey guys, it's Marcus here, and you can see by my robe that it actually does get cold here in Florida. It's been pretty cold lately. And today what we're going to be doing is going through one of the high ticket niches that I set up for a customer. Uh, the same one we went through in our keyword video, the business cash flow problems. Now, when you get your done for you set up site, there's a few things that you want to look at because what we do is we do our best effort to get this thing ready to go. However, you're going to need to add some affiliate offers. You're going to want to add videos or whatever it is that makes this sell. And the first most important thing when looking at a site like this is, of course, to follow along with the idea of the intent, right? What is the user's intent? What do they want by typing in business cash flow problems? Right? They're probably looking for different ways to get out of the problem. They're probably looking for uh, ideas to help cash flow and things like that. So we always want to keep that in mind when editing this. And of course, the second most important thing next to the search intent is the traffic method you'll be going for. Now, I have a separate way that I set up sites based on free traffic like SEO and things like that or based on paid traffic. It's a completely different process. You never want to use the same site for both, uh, or the same methods and the same site for both paid traffic and free. You have to have them separate. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this word. Now, when you get a high ticket niche from me over at highticketniches.com, um, we're going to tell you the traffic method. And the way that I determine the traffic method is usually by going to Google and taking a look at what the um, competition is like, right? So here we are in Bing. Um, the competition here, we got a couple of paid ads here, interstate billing, interstate capital. Uh, we also have about.com for cash flow worksheet. We have interstate capital, interstate billing again. And then on the second page, it looks like it's just kind of re redoing the same exact ads. We could do the same exact search in Google and see what's going on here. Now, what that means is because it's showing the same exact ads over and over, it means it's cheap, right? It's not going to be an expensive word. You can see about.com. Uh, he's a blanket bidder. That means he's bidding on everything. He's not a specific site, um, which means it's also inexpensive here on Google as well. Now, we could also see that the average uh, regular competition here, this is for the, the free results, is like 7 million, okay? So it looks like what we're going to be doing here after I isolate this to get the real competition 25,000. It looks like we're going to go paid traffic on this one. Okay, so we'll use paid traffic. We'll use words like business cash flow problems. Um, we can do business cash flow worksheets and things like that. Um, there we go, business cash flow statement, um, projection analysis. So a lot of these words we can use. So this is primarily going to be a paid traffic niche. We're going to go, we're going to bid on the search engines, and we're going to get traffic. Okay, so that's important to look at when, when dealing with this stuff because that's going to determine how we set these things up, what our pages look like, uh, how we monetize, and everything like that. Now, you'll notice that I'm on businesscashflowproblems.com, which is the main root domain name. Nine times out of ten, the root domain name is going to be your landing page. What's a landing page? It's the page that your visitors land on after clicking on your ad or looking at the search engine ranking or watching your video or whatever, right? It's a place they land on. It's the first thing they see when they come to your site. And as you know, if you've watched any of my trainings, you have about three seconds or less to get their attention and show them why they need to stay on your site. Otherwise, they're going to click the back button. They're going to be gone forever. You're not going to make any money. Yeah, it's not good, right? So let's take a look at this. We have business cash flow problems, the five main causes of cash flow problems, business. Okay, now that, that's kind of funny. So first of all, I'm going to edit this up a little bit. And we're going to say, okay, let's go into our WordPress dashboard. We are going to go into settings, general. Okay, this is where you edit your title. We're going to go in here and we are going to change the slogan tagline. So we're going to do business cash flow problems, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, instead of five main causes, we're going to do locate the cause, fix the problem now. Okay, now that's just going to go ahead and edit this here. It's going to put it on our site. So we'll go ahead and you can see here if we go back to the site, 
you will see that uh, business cash flow problems, question, 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 locate the cause, fix the problem now. Okay, next what we want to do is want to take a look at these uh, links here. Okay, now I'm kind of picky about the way these links look, and I like them to all be on one line. The reason is, is because it looks too much like content, and they're going to click on this stuff uh, it, unless they, you know, read something else. So what we want to do is we want to lead them into the message of the site as fast as possible. Okay, the quicker we get them to start consuming relevant content, the better off our chances of making money. And of course, we want to look at this and say, well, you know, who are we speaking to and how can we speak their language? Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go dashboard again. And I'm going to go over to pages, all pages. Okay, and we're going to see these pages here and you can see why they're getting jumbled up here. Right, the reason they're getting jumbled up is because uh, they're too long. Okay, so if we shorten these up a little bit while maintaining the keywords and everything, we'll be okay. So first of all, let's do something like common causes of cash flow problems. Let's just do common cash flow problems, or we could do cash flow problems like this, update. Okay. Next, we're going to go in, we'll do the next one, I'll view the pages again. Okay, and you can always refresh and kind of toggle and see how that's going to look. So now we got the common causes of taken out of there. So it should update. Let's see why it's not updating here. Ah, there we go. Cash flow problems. Okay, how to find the business that makes you rich. Um, not really that relevant. Uh, so let's do something like find hidden cash in your business okay there we go update let's see how this looks so now do you see how that kind of changes like okay how to find the business that makes you rich obviously they're not really looking for that um it, we'll, we'll edit that content and everything um it's good to have we just want to edit it to where it's kind of making sense for them and to where these are all on one line okay so cash flow problems we will let's see if it's reloaded yet Okay, find hidden cash in your business. Okay, resolving cash flow issues. I'm going to take that one and I will do all pages. We will do resolving business cash flow issues like this. Okay, and we'll do common cash flow issues like this. Okay, wait for it to update. And let's see here. Finding hidden cash, common cash flow, solutions to common business cash flow problems. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and do all pages and we will do edit this one. And we'll do fix cash flow issues. Okay, now this should take them and put them all on one page, which is good. Okay. All right, like, no, wait a little bit. Okay, there we go. And it should have it all set up. There we go. Now we have, see how that leads them into the content better. It's like business cash flow problems, question, question, locate the cause, fix the problem now, cash flow problems, common cash flow issues, find hidden cash in your business, and fix cash flow issues. Good. Pretty cool, right? That's step number one is making your pages, the titles of your pages, flow and be part of the content, right? I don't want to have things that are going to lead people away from the message. I always want to have things that draw them into the message. And if they do click on these, we want them to lead to something that makes us more money, right? So if they're coming in for like business cash flow problems, which is an inexpensive, easy word, we can take them out to like business loans or something, right? So like if I do uh, fixed cash, cash flow issues, um, I can title this like business loans. And then if they click on it right now, I know, hey, you know, that's an obvious way. Let's see here, business loans. Um, that way, if they click it, then they're going to go to the expensive high paying ads and everything like that. And of course, you know, I can track and see are people clicking on it. 
And if they are, I know what that's, that's what my market wants. Okay, so first step is to change the titles and make them flow with your message, make them make sense with what you're trying to say and focus on the intent of your visitor, right? Why are they here? What's gonna get their, their, um, their attention, okay? Next, we have um, our pages and everything like this. You'll notice that there's uh, the little content and things like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take all the links out of the content, okay? We're gonna take these out and we're gonna add them in something else, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and go into our plugins, right, like this. Okay, we're gonna go into plugins. We're gonna go plugins, add new. Okay, you'll notice you, also, always, you already have the Squeezeblogs Pro plugin. That's the one that does your opt-in and your sidebar widgets. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and upload a plugin and we're gonna upload the content plugin. It's in plugins here. And we're gonna do um, monetize content. Okay, install. And what this is gonna do is once this plugin's installed, it's gonna take certain keywords on your site and it's gonna link them to other pages you want. Now, this is really cool because what's gonna happen is it's gonna take words like business loans or cash flow plugins or whatever, and it's going to, um, it's gonna, you know, make them monetized. It's gonna send them to something that makes money. Okay, a little technical difficulties. I just got this plugin hot off the press from my, uh, developer. So I had to edit it a little bit. But when you get this plugin, uh, it's going to look like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on manage. And what it allows you to do is take any content on your site, right? So if we use the word cash flow and we want to take that content and put it as a keyword, we can actually put the word cash flow here and then we could replace it with whatever we want or we could create a link as well, right? So pretty cool. We could go in and put like cash flow and we can make it bold we can make it red so they want to click on it let's see here if it's got that little thing where we can make it red yeah we'll make it red later but anyway we'll make it bold like that um, and then we could link it to whatever we want so in this instance let's say i have a site called um, let's say business loans easy.com or something like that, right? That's gonna trigger a much more expensive click. So we could actually take that and send all the people who click on the word cash flow to a different site uh, with AdSense that's gonna make us a lot of money. So pretty cool, right? We're gonna go ahead and click on uh, open link in a new tab. We're gonna click update and then submit. Now, if everything's working properly with the plugin, what should happen is the word cash flow will now be replaced by The cash flow links right so see how that works really cool um, you can use this to send them to a different page on your site um, anything you want it's really easy to use we could do the same exact thing uh, with the word credit or perhaps we want to replace these cash flow ones here right like this <coughs> and the cool thing if you want to be totally lazy um, you could actually just replace these with um, your affiliate link Right, so if we go here um, and we want to make this link out to our affiliate program, um, we can actually go through, get a link from our affiliate program. Let's say we're using, uh, let's get our other one here. This one here, um, we can actually take them and put them to this link, which would be an affiliate program. And now every time they click on the word cash flow, um, they're going to get that link. Okay, so really cool. We'll hit submit. And now our max bounty link is going to replace the word cash flow. Okay, and you could do this. We'll wait for it to load though. Let's see here. There we go. Cool. So now it links to our max bounty link, right? Like that. We can make it open in a new tab. And of course, if they sign up for something, which is very relative to what we're doing, um, it's going to make it a lot easier. Uh, for us to deal with. So really, really, really cool. Okay, so next up what we want to do is focus on the flow. Okay, what I mean by the flow, I know working on a cash flow site and saying the word flow is kind of confusing, but this has nothing to do with cash flow. What this has to do with 
is the fact that we want them to flow through our site in a certain way and to reach a certain goal, which is to make us money, right? Now, there are several things we could do. We could take a look at this business cash flow and say, well, you know, this guy's a business owner. Um, I think it'd be valuable to have a mailing list of a bunch of business owners that have cash flow problems. So maybe I can make this uh, to where I can get them to opt in, okay? Now, the way you would wanna do that is you'd wanna take a look at this site and perhaps create a, a teaser copy. Okay, so what we could do is we could say, well, you know, our goal should be to have them opt in, okay? And what you could do is you could go here, click on edit the page, okay? And when you edit the page here, we're gonna go ahead and go in and take a look at what we want to add. So when, we, when they come to our site like this, we wanna say, what do we want them to do, okay? And what we want them to do is opt in. So now what I would do in this instance is I would create a little teaser video, okay? You put a little video here, which would also double to get you some traffic from YouTube, which is pretty cool. And you could talk about the main cash flow problems. Of course, at the end of the video, you tell them, put your name and email in the boxes so that you can get my cash flow report, okay? So that's a really good way to do this is say, hey, let's dangle a little carrot in front of them and say, um, you know, do you want the cash flow report to find the hidden cash flow guides? Plus you can get this, this, and this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna focus on that. So let's say that this here on YouTube is your video um, showing people how to, you know, the different cash flow thing. It's your teaser video. Uh, with the thing that says go ahead and opt in. Uh, what we would do is we go here, we click on share, go to embed, show more, and then we're gonna go ahead and choose our size. I usually use 640 by 360. Make sure none of these are checked. And then once that's done, just go ahead and click up here, copy this big code here, and we could just paste that uh, right on top of the page. So the first thing they see uh, is going to be our video, okay? Which is cool, right? And you can outsource this video. Uh, you could go to Fiverr, write up a little script that says the five business cash flow problems are X, Y, Z, and whatever, all right? And um, in order to get my report on how to solve these, put your name and email in the box. Very, very simple. Don't overthink it, just get it done. Uh, Fiverr, you could have someone create a video for like five bucks or something like that. Or if you want a better conversion, do it yourself, okay? Um, what we're going to do also is we're going to add something to this line of code here. So after rel equals and, we're going to go ahead and do and autoplay equals one. What that's going to do is it's going to autoplay it as soon as they come to our site. This will increase your conversions um, because they don't have to hit play and the video will always be playing. Okay, So we're going to go ahead and wait for this to load and hit refresh. Okay, so now when they come here, boom, the video is going to play automatically. Um, and then it's going to go ahead and lead them into this content here. Now I'm going to go ahead and edit this because I want this to be lined up so it's not smashed into it. The way I'm going to do that is by edit, visual, and then we should be able to shrink it up a little by doing like 610 or something like that. And let's see, view page. Okay, cool, that looks a little bit better. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and edit this um, autoplay thing like this. Let's see where we went, and autoplay equals. Should do it hopefully let's see okay and then when we load it yes now it's loading automatically cool so they're gonna come here they're gonna see this video this video needs to be designed to give them some content give them a little bit of teaser stuff and then get them to opt in now what you're gonna want to do next is go into your squeeze blogs pro plugin and reiterate the stuff that you mentioned in the video Okay, so we're gonna to go to Squeeze Blogs Pro here. And all these plugins you can get um, at blogprofitnetwork.com slash plugins. Uh, we have a special club where you can get all the plugins, download them all and everything like that. Uh, you can check that out there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here first to opt-in one, and we are going to change 
these things here. Okay, so first and foremost, you want to put your list name in here and you want to have a thank you URL. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go to business cash flow problems, right, like this. Okay, and we are going to go dashboard and we're going to do a new post. Okay, so we'll do uh, add new. And we'll wait for it to load here. And we're going to do thank you. Thank you. All right, like this. Hit publish. Okay, and you're going to edit this thank you page. This is basically the page that they see after they put their name and email in the box. Okay, so it's going to be slash thank you. Now, on this thank you page, you will want to put some of your affiliate offers, um, like thank you, watch for my emails and things like that. Uh, you can see how I do that at um, simplesitesbigprofits.com slash thanks, I believe it is, dot PHP, is that it? Yeah, so on this one, right, they come in and it's like, okay, hey, thanks for signing up. You're gonna get this stuff, check it out. Here's some frequently asked questions. Here's some videos, right? So the idea of your thank you page is to welcome them. Hey, thanks for opting in. Check your email in a little bit for whatever at whatever.com. That's me. You're going to get your PDF that you requested and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. But right now, check out this offer. Okay, that's the key. That's how you want to make your money back or make money while building a list is by having that offer there, right? So we could do something like thanks for signing up. Be... Be sure to watch your email for a message from Marcus at um, business cash flow problems dot com. That's me. Yay. Wonderful. Happy. Right. We will also send you some cool tools on managing your cash flow. While you wait, check out these killer links, right? Boom. Okay. You can say killer links, you could say offers, whatever you want. And then all you got to do is post some of your banner offers here. We'll, we'll take a nice good one. Uh, let's do 580 by 400. That'll be a good one. Okay, we'll copy this. This is from our affiliate network uh, at Max Bounty. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to go ahead and post that here. Hit update. And now we have a wonderful little thank you page. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You can view it right here. And boom, there we go, over 1.9 provided to more businesses, right? So they click this and boom, we're going to make some money, which is pretty cool. All right, you can also have some sidebar stuff here, um, all kinds of things. And this is all uh, controlled with your squeeze blog. So first of all, what we want to do is put our thank you URL here. Okay, that's not that one, this one. Okay, we're going to put our thank you URL here. That way, after they enter their name and email, boom, they're going to go to that page. Our list name, this is the list name that's found in Aweber. Um, so you need to have an Aweber account. You need to set up a list name. Very simple. And then you plug in your autoresponder with messages and you make money and the world's happy, right? So let's say we called our uh, list name simple Marcus, okay? Next, we're going to do improving cash flow problems, cash flow problems and solutions. Okay, now these, again, want to reiterate what you mentioned in the video. So if you mentioned in the video, free cash flow audit software or whatever, uh, or spreadsheet, okay, um, six ways to find hidden cash in your business, plus tools to make even more or to add more to your bottom line, dot, dot, dot. Okay, there we go, cool. Privacy policy is automatic. You could choose uh, how you want it to look, right? So if we're on our main page here, uh, because that's where our opt-in is, uh, we could say, well, you know, maybe we want it to be um, red or green or whatever. Okay, so we could do download now. If you want to do download, <coughs> very simple. 
we hit update and now boom we have <coughs> we wait pardon me I'm still getting over this cough which is being a pain in the butt okay there we go so now we have cash flow problems in a business guide uh, we can even change um, that title there so we could do um, where did we go visual free cash flow uh, guide helps you locate hidden cash in your business. And again, you want this to be something that's based on their intent and also flows with your video. Okay, so I'll hit update. Go like this. <coughs> Reload. There we go. Okay, cool. And again, you know, go through and uh, you could change the way that it looks just by kind of doing this here. And we got to hear this over and over. All right, so your video will be there. And then we'll do a reload. Okay. Now, what you want to do when you're doing this stuff is make it look nice, make it easy, make it focus on the user intent, and then you want to track everything, right? So if I get like 100 visitors and I pay, you know, 10 bucks for 100 visitors to my site, I want to know out of those 100, how many did I get to opt in, right? If I got 10, yeah, we're doing okay. If I got 30, we're doing really good. If I got one, then hey, they don't care about my message, right? Same kind of thing with the other stuff you're gonna notice that we've set up for you, right? When you go to your dashboard and you use the plugins and tools uh, that we've created over at blogprofitnetwork.com slash plugins, um, these are all designed to help you do this, right? So uh, when you go to monetize content, not only is it gonna set up these links in a cool way, but it's also gonna show you how many people are clicking on what links, right? Another plugin that you're gonna wanna use is plugins add new our smart affiliate ads plugin okay the smart affiliate ads plugin is the one that you'll see here let's see smart affiliate ads here okay install now uh, let's see what's going on here here we go Install, activate, okay? This is the one that you'll see uh, like over on my talksober.com site where it creates the little video ads. Okay, so here you'll see we got uh, the same kind of thing, right? My sites are set up the exact same way. We got the video, the video gets them to opt in or fill out the, the thing here. We got our AdSense and we have our little video images. Okay, now these little video images, when we go through, you're gonna see who is clicking on what, right? Now this is gold. A lot of people start, they get traffic and they say, well, I didn't make money or I didn't break even or I only got one sale. Okay, that's not really what I'm looking for. What I'm really looking for is the data of what they click on because if I know what these people are clicking on, right, I know what's most important. Like right here, I could see that by a landslide, are you a functioning alcoholic is getting the most clicks. Next to that is alcohol detox dangers, right? So I know that these are generating the traffic. Once I know that, boom, I'm ready to go. I can also take a look and say, you know, like here, I'm not doing the opt-ins so much, but we're doing the quiz results. And the quiz results, I could see, hey, I got, you know, 489 quizzes that people took on my site or 517 or whatever. So we're getting a lot of people interacting with the site. The interaction is what is going to show you where the money is, right? Everything you do online is a test. That's all it is. That's why people hate internet marketing. They don't want to test. They want something where they go beep, money flies out. Yay. Wonderful. They don't want to do the job of testing. Now the job of testing isn't that difficult. All you got to do is use these plugins, test it out, see where the traffic goes. Once you know where the traffic goes, then you go in there and you start to set things up based on what they're doing, right? Very, very, very important. Now you'll start to see this stuff uh, come together with the cash flow problems, a video, we got the opt-in, right? So we're gonna test that. Uh, we could also go through and set up little ads with our um, 
monetize content, or I'm sorry, the Smart Affiliate Ad Pro, um, and we can set up different things, like perhaps we would go in and set up a group, let's call it uh, cash flow, okay? And then we'll go in, we'll do like video ads, um, homepage, we'll just do all these, uh, let's do pages, yes, post yes, submit. Okay, that's just showing it where it's gonna go. And then we can go through and we can do things that are gonna jog their attention and um, create new ads, like maybe we'll, uh, let's see here, wrong link. Okay, Squeezebox Pro. And we'll go in here like this. Oh, wrong one, Smart Affiliate Ads. I mean, I'm tired today, my brain's not working. All right, Smart Affiliate Ads. I guess that's good, because it makes me go a little slower. All right, so Smart Affiliate Ads will go in here like this. We're gonna do, um, go into this group, we're gonna click this button to manage the ads. And what I could do is I could, you know, I can make all these go to the affiliate offer. So if we take our affiliate link like this, okay, put this in here as our URL, we could do something like um, need 50,000. Okay, upload image, go in here select a file, and we'll go to pictures, uh, find some kind of picture of money or something like that. Uh, let's see. Now uh, we'll just do this guy. All right, we're just doing this as a test, but at any rate, what you could do is you could see, okay, here we got this, um, need $50,000, submit. Okay, and then what's gonna happen is it's gonna create those ads on our site. Let's see if we have to drag it over there. Widgets. Looks like I'm going too fast for the old hosting company. All right, so we'll go here and we're gonna go to um, Smart Affiliate Ads Pro, we'll drag this up into our widget area. And if I'm going too fast for you, don't worry. Um, just save this video, opt into my stuff, and we'll make some other videos for you. But watch it slow, watch it again. Okay, so now we have that there, and what it'll do is it's gonna put those ads here, <coughs> right, like this, right? Um, click to play or whatever, let's see. Right, like this, and we could put, you know, uh, need $50,000 or whatever. Okay, very easy. Then, of course, once you're done with that, you can make one for, like, need 50000 need 100000 10000 a million, um, and see which one people click on most. Now, there's also a little code where you could put the um, these little ads under here if you want as well. Okay, so really cool. But what I want you to focus on mostly is getting the flow ready to test, right? We want to get this ready to where we know that if we bid on some words and get some traffic, people are gonna fill out these forms, they're gonna click on our stuff, they're gonna watch the video, they're gonna consume our content. Okay, so what I want you to do in this next task, once you have your site, is do this stuff, right? Put a video, put some ads on there, um, you know, check, take a look at the other links, make some ads on there. Um, also, make sure that the flow is working properly when they put their name um, and email in here. Okay, make sure the flow goes properly and they go to the thank you page. Uh, make sure that your thank you page has offers on it uh, so that when they, you know, opt in, they're actually going to offers so that you can make some money and get it ready to go. Okay, very important that you get it ready to go. And then once you have it to where it looks pretty good, um, if you're one of my customers, right, you can see the ads are here as well. Um, submit it to me for a review and we'll take a look at it, right? The goal here is to get you ready, get you going and get it working. So I hope you like this video about how to set up the flow. Uh, we're gonna go through this more detailed with some other videos and everything like that. Um, if you wanna get a high ticket niche and work with me on it and get it ready to make money, then go to highticketniches.com. If you want any of the plugins that were mentioned in this video, go to blogprofitnetwork.com slash plugins. All right, thanks again. Here's to testing and making money with your site. I'm Marcus from highticketniches.com. I'll see you in the next video.